Stay away from Idaville. Across the nation, the warning sped from crook to crook. Big and small, they knew what to expect if they tried anything funny in Idaville. A quick trip to jail. For more than a year, no child or grown-up had gotten away with breaking a law there. How did Idaville do it? What secret lay behind its war and crime? No one could guess. Idaville looked like many other seaside towns its size. It had two car washes. Two delicatessens. Three movie theaters. And four banks. It had rich families. And poor families. Churches. And a synagogue. Lovely beaches. And good places to fish. And on Rover Avenue, it had a red brick house with a white picket fence in front. This was the real headquarters of Idaville's war and crime. For within the red brick walls lived... His father was chief of Idaville police. For more than a year now, Chief Brown had brought home his hardest cases. His son solved them at the dinner table. It pained Chief Brown not to tell the world. He wanted to shout from the rooftops. My son is the greatest detective who ever walked in sneakers! But how could he? Who would believe that the mastermind behind Idaville's crime cleanup was ten years old?